morning. Uh, I want to thank everybody again for tuning in uh, here to uh, Jose Ponce with uh, Ponce Ponce Realty. Second week of our uh, videos here on our property located at 25416 9th Street in San Bernardino. Just wanted to give you guys a second update. Uh, we are moving forward. Uh, there's a lot of little things that came up during uh, from our last segment. Uh, you know, we had issues with uh, some termite issues in one of the restrooms and uh, other several things have been going on. But uh, before we get into all that, I wanted to answer a couple of questions. I received a couple of calls last week in regards to uh, how we get financing uh, for our purchases. So I wanted to just touch base a little bit on that. There's different sets of type of financing available for uh, for properties. Uh, you got either hard money lenders. You also got private investors. You also have, uh, uh, you know, in some cases you can even use your uh, home equity line of credit. So if you don't have the capital out of cash pocket, you can, uh, you know, there's different resources out there. So there's a, uh, there's definitely, you know, there's no reason if it's a great deal. There's no reason why you can miss out on it if, uh, you know, knowing the right context and and, and doing, you know, the right procedure, etc. So, anyways, um, I wanted to uh, just touch base on that. You know, any if you have any further questions, uh, you can either comment here on Facebook or you can be more than uh, happy to give contact me on my cell phone, uh, which is 909-717-3873. You'll see that on the uh, screen as well, printed. So with that being said, I wanted to just touch base on the uh, couple issues that came up on our rehab here on uh, 9th Street. We had a, a took down one of the restrooms that was a, a complete shower stall and that was all tiled up and etc. And there was a lot of damage, wood damage behind it. We took it all down. We're uh, right now in the process of fixing that back up. You know, laying down the uh, hardy backer and you know, etc. And etc. So, anyways, uh, um, the kitchen. Is uh is ready to go. The living room, Be uh, bedrooms, uh, living room. It's all been uh, taped up. It's all been uh, uh, plastered, ready to for the texture. So let's uh let's go ahead and have a look inside and see what the progress at this point has been. So we're in the inside. Uh, as you can see, we got pretty much all the plaster completed. All the walls have been uh, prepped for the uh, texture that's uh, going to be coming up next year. We got the uh, recessed lighting installed. Kitchen has all been new electrical, all been redone. Uh, wall heater's been removed. So uh, that was uh, kind of actually a fire hazard. Whoever installed it didn't properly vent it. And uh, that could have actually caused a, uh, a, a, a huge fire here. So anyways, we took care of that. So the restroom is the part that we need to work on next. We're working on getting the hardy backer on there. Uh, some of the studs that were in the back have uh, had uh, termite damage and mold damage, as well as the drywall on the other side, which is connected to a bedroom. So all that's going to be ripped out, going to be taken care of. Um, it's pretty much it. At this point, we haven't really uh, got to the point where we need to start doing the finish work. Right now, I'm still laying down the foundation of all the uh, preparing, preparing the property for texture, paint, final touches, and of course, the kitchen cabinets are being uh, being ordered right now as we speak. The windows have also been ordered, so we're waiting for those to come in. There's uh, still work at hand. Uh, the guest house hasn't been touched. That guest house is going to be real minor stuff that needs to be done in there. So we're going to wait till last minute to do that. And then our final is going to be the exterior of the property. Other than that, you know, we're doing really good on time. Everything's working out great. Uh, not major hiccups other than, you know, the rest of uh, that water damage that we had there. So check it out. Let me know what you think. So this is the uh, north east corner of the property. Uh, sits on a half an acre. So if you guys are probably already know by now. We uh, wanted to show you guys a bit of the back of the property. Uh, we had some issues with the uh, city, as I had previously explained to you guys, um, that there's some plumbing that's sticking out of the wall. They don't like the way it looks. It needs to be repaired or removed. So we're going to install it and put it all in the uh, inside of the walls so that you know it looks a little bit nicer and looks a lot more cleaner. There's a washer and dryer hookup and stuff like that. There's a lot of copper plumbing for the cold, cold and hot water that's sticking out. Uh, the back of the house, half of the back of the house has been completed. Uh, with, with stucco, which is the guest house that was uh, added, you know, about five, eight years ago. The rest of the house is uh, sitting on uh, on uh, wood uh, wood planks, I guess so we can call that. Uh, we're going to be stuckling all that. We've already removed part, uh, most of the uh, um, cardboard here or the uh, porch. Um, so uh, the windows have been ordered, and uh, we are, you know, hopefully having those next week. So just wanted to touch base on that, just to guys know what we're we're moving pretty fast here. So I'm hoping to uh, to get this the exterior started by next week if not of course the following week so we're into it now two weeks now and uh, uh you know we're doing we're progressing pretty quick here so uh, look forward to seeing you guys next week thanks for tuning in guys appreciate any questions go ahead and leave us a message you're more than welcome to call me again uh like some of you guys did so 
Thank you. Have a good day.